Vinyl graphics really add a nice touch to RVs, enhancing the overall look of the rig. But just like us, our rigs are getting older. Things start to dry out and crack, losing their appeal. It's time for a makeover. Today we're going to remove some of the decals on our RV, leaving some that are still in good shape. Here are some of the things we're going to use to get the job done. It doesn't take a powerful heat gun to remove vinyl decals, so we chose this economical heat gun from Wagner. Plastic razor blades. These razor blades are made by a company named Titan. Rapid Remover Adhesive Spray. This spray helps to remove the adhesive, but it's gentle enough not to damage the exterior of the RV. We set the heat gun at its lowest temperature. It doesn't take much to soften the vinyl decal. We started off by waving the heat gun back and forth over the surface of the decal we want to remove. Then we started pulling the edge of the old decal up using a plastic razor blade. Once we had enough of the decal to grab, we started pulling it away from the RV, all the time waving the heat gun back and forth to avoid overheating the decal. Too much direct heat melts the decal, causing it to stretch and break off. Too little heat and the decal gets brittle and breaks off. After the decal has been removed, there is a sticky residue left behind. That's where the rapid remover spray comes in handy. We sprayed the surface and let it sit for a few seconds and then used the plastic razor blades to start scraping off the glue. We repeated this process until all the glue was gone. We sprayed the surface one last time with the adhesive remover and used paper towels to remove any remaining residue. Now we're ready to put on new vinyl graphics. We're going to check on Amazon because we've heard that they have a wide array of do-it-yourself vinyl graphics. We hope you've enjoyed this video. There are links in the comments sections below where you'll find the items we talked about. Please visit our website and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel.